Since the dawn of time, every civilization has had people that have contributed to the development of their society. Individuals who have taken it upon themselves to stand out and make a difference. A rare breed of humans that for unknown reasons find it within themselves to give more than they take. To be more than average. How many times have you heard, he made a difference, she made a difference, their contribution was significant. Do you make a difference? Do you have impact? Do you matter? Does your life's work make a difference? Does it have impact on the world? Does it matter? Think about that before you answer. Almost everyone would like to have a meaningful, positive effect on the world they're living in. All of us admire the small number of people and organizations of people that are universally recognized for making a positive difference in the world. Many of them have become household names whose works have virtually altered the course of history, not just for today's generations, but for all those yet to come. They have clearly had a measurable impact in the world. For some, their work has been highly publicized, triggering massive political change, while for others, their work is very personalized, just being there for another in need. Whether their impact is global or local, highly publicized or almost anonymous, their life's work truly does matter. For without them, we would all indeed be poorer. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone was part of the solution instead of part of the problem? If everyone here could have a life that really made a difference, really had an impact? Imagine what it would be like if the work you do really mattered. What if everything you did really counted for something, really made a profound, significant difference? Think about this. Think hard about it. Think about it more when you go to sleep tonight. Imagine what you would be if unlimited by the forces that now stop you, you could be what you really wanted to be. Imagine what you would do if unlimited by the forces that now stop you, you could do what you really wanted to do. Imagine what you could have if unlimited by the forces that now stop you. Allow yourself to do some serious imagining. Allow your imagining to be uninhibited by who or what you are, undiminished by your abilities, your education, your circumstances. Suspend reality for just a moment and imagine the unimaginable. Think the unthinkable. What would you and your world look like if you could redesign it the way you wanted? Would it be different if you were the architect? Would you then think you make a difference? The world operates on, functions on, runs on ideas, thoughts, and dreams. Think it and it can be so. This is the first baby step to take to propel you and your life's work into the realm of truly making a difference. Consider how few people really seem to care about others. Nelson Mandela spent two decades of his life in a prison cell rather than surrender his principles. He said in his 1994 presidential inaugural address, our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate, our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. It is our light, not our darkness, that most frightens us. We ask ourselves, who am I to be brilliant, gorgeous, talented, and fabulous? Actually, who are we not to be? You are a child of God. Your playing small doesn't serve the world. There's nothing enlightened about shrinking so that other people won't feel insecure around you. 
we were born to make manifest the glory of God that is within us. It's not just in some of us, it's in all of us. And Mother Teresa, spending a lifetime serving the least of those among us. When we look around, there seems to be so few to do the work that calls for so many. Why is this? Why are there so few? Why do these people do it? What is it that drives them? Why does it seem that these people sacrifice so much and yet they seem so happy? Why don't they run out of energy and resources? They just keep on going. What can their payoff possibly be for the apparent sacrifices they endure on a day-to-day, year-in and year-out basis for literally decades? These magnificent people demonstrate more stick to in one day than most of us muster in a lifetime. Make no mistake, these are very special people. People who derive so much personal satisfaction from their work that somehow it makes it all worthwhile. You'd think they'd eventually run out of energy and determination and just give up. But they don't. They simply must have a different perspective on life than we do. But what is that perspective? Exactly what is it that makes these people so unique, so special, so determined and inexhaustible? And more to the point, is there some way we can magically recreate ourselves to be just as special? Well, get ready for some good news, because the answer is a resounding yes. Absolutely yes. You can be anything you choose to be.